Welcome back. It's that time when you hear that music. Charlie Abrigo's here from the Glassboro Zoo with our Zoo Guest of the Week, which always comes in all shapes and sizes. And for those who like ripe reptiles, today's your day. There you go. <laughs> and and um, I actually was kind of surprised because sometimes, you know, they prepare the animals so I can bring them. Sometimes I pick them out myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was kind of running late and I was like, give me a, a specific snake. And then I open up and it's this snake. I'm like, oh, wait, okay, something... Something different. So this is a California king snake. So, okay. So, I think um, we put gray banded I, snake, I, I, but it was supposed to be the gray banded <laughs> king snake, but uh, they uh, maybe it was. Sometimes the snakes don't agree, or it's feeding time for them. So yeah. um, maybe that's why they gave me the California king snakes, which they're very similar. They're all both yeah, they are in the king snake family, and um, most of king snakes can be found in. Um, uh, in the western area, which is like California, um, especially if it's in their name, you know, California King State. Yeah, they yeah. go up all the way through West Texas, I mean, West, Te west part of the United States, all the way to Baja, California. And um, one of the really interesting things about them is they're immune to rattlesnake venom or, or almost any other venomous snake. And um, one thing that they have to watch out with for with these, especially when we have them at the zoo with um, double exhibit, we have, that means when we have uh, two of the same, same animals in an exhibit or right. mixed within it with another right. thing, these snakes can eat other snakes. And they really? will eat other snakes. And, and, uh, and does it matter what size? I mean, can they eat well, a snake bigger than them? Well, Probably not, right? Yeah, it has to be about, <laughs> you know, something that they can eat. But of, but of course, you keep in mind that this one's actually a little bit younger. Yeah. So they still have a little bit to grow. They can get maybe around three feet, nothing exceeding more than four feet. But um, they're they're very they're very nice and and this one's a much better snake than we had because we had one years before at the zoo and sometimes when they get upset they musk it's like just a different uh, like a scent they'll let really? out like a liquid and it would musk you like so much and then you <laughs> smell like a uh, like well, real gross yeah <laughs> but no wow. this one's actually much much better and it's really easy to handle and that's you know especially when we take them out to the into the public they don't want to you know they, yeah you don't want them to smell but what's also <laughs> great too is that you know they only eat every so often mm -hmm. so that's why you were able to bring him today yeah they eat once a week so um i think some of the snakes have different feeding schedules so that way we can if we need to take them to some place um all these snakes won't be eating at the same time all right well really quickly brew at the zoo is in a couple weeks it no it's tomorrow it's tomorrow oh my god <laughs> time is flown we're right in know, September. Right? it's going real fast yeah brew at the zoo is tomorrow uh, on the 23rd 6 to 9 p.m um buy your ticket today it's 25 dollars. tomorrow will be 35 dollars, and it's the beer sampling there's gonna be food throughout the zoo it's gonna be a great time um with music and everything so we just want everybody to come out and enjoy come out and that's our we'll be right back with a last look at your forecast <laughs> 